Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you today? Fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're always fine, you know, which is to our pleasure. We're thankful mm-hmm. for your good health. Mm-hmm. Still going strong, highly yeah. creative and everything. So now, tell us about this one here, please. I, when my late husband died, uh-huh. I painted a picture of us meeting in heaven. Okay. Seemed a good idea. <laughs> it is, of course. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea, as a matter um, of fact. And in it, he's there, and I'm here. Ah. We're looking at each other. At each other. And where where and was, was this? unveiled in the Highgate Cemetery Chapel. And I can see that in 1992. That's right, that was over Remarkable. There, yeah. It's quite detailed. Um, well, they the, always are. The, this painting, okay. And it's got you there, oh, Rosa Branson. Right. Oh, we got a tiger to go. Wow, that's beautiful, isn't it? I went and, to the zoo, uh-huh. and he growled at me. Oh, well. <laughs> and, but the, the peacock was having a nervous breakdown because they thought it, it was frightened. I see. <laughs> so I painted those two. At the London Zoo? No, I did drawings of them and then came home and painted them. Oh, I see. No, what I mean when you saw, when you said he growled at you, was this at the London Zoo? Yes, he was. Okay. He was looking through the cage. I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> And, and I could see his teeth. Okay, and then you came back. Handy. It's amazing how, despite the time from when you travelled from the London Zoo, oh, Regent's yes. Park and here, you still stored the images oh, in yes, your you mind. Yes, you do. This is artistry, isn't it? And, and along the journey, were you thinking of the image or you had other distractions? Obviously, you had to either take took a taxi or got on the bus. Yeah, Did I got you, on the bus. You got on the bus. Mm. And were you contemplating continuously on the image or you had no, I just gaps in between? Yeah, so it's like a photographic memory. Yeah, I've got that sort of memory. Wow. And you reproduce such beauty. Yeah, Okay. Fine. And tell us about this, please. This is a picture of the first painting I did for the Red Cross. I wanted to paint the story of the Red Cross. Uh-huh. Um, that is my daughter running away from fear. Okay. And she's carrying my grandson. Okay. Um, these were friends of mine. Okay. <laughs> he was a famous mountain climber. I see. He came to pose for me. This is a remarkable... I mean, one thing I've noticed in all your masterpieces, they're so detailed. Yes, well, they, wanted, they loved being in them. Yeah. <laughs> who, who wouldn't? Lots of people in the, in the images. Yeah. And this was done, if you, if you may, it was done on Friday, March the 1st, 1996. It was finished then. It was finished then. Thanks for correcting me on that one. Wasn't so the dates done you in have. One day. I'm on. <laughs> so true. And on that point, actually, how long do these take to About do? About three months. About three months. Mm-hmm. And and because I've not seen this live, was the dimension this eight by five foot ones? Or yes, it's much? eight by five. They're all eight by five. These. Oh, all eight by five. All mm-hmm. these. Okay. This is help um, the aged. Okay, you went to India about this, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, yeah. Any story about the, the the characters in the images that you've got in this? Um, I met Major Panu. Okay. And he came and posed for me in London. All right. And I said to him, I've never met a proper Major General before. Okay. And he said... I am a major general, but I don't know that I'm that proper. <laughs> and we both roared with laughter. Very modest. <laughs> <laughs> we were both laughing. <laughs> yeah, that's so thanks for sharing that with us. So he's a sweetie pie. Such humility nice. and modesty. That's but remarkable. He, he was head of help head of help the aged in India. Okay. And that's why I was into this. Okay. And for you you just said he came to post for you. So he came from India for an event yes. in London. He came he came from India in order to be in my painting. That is absolutely fantastic. And of course, that's following on from you having gone to India in the first place. Well, I've been anyway. Yeah, been yeah. Places. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not sort of belittling that, no, no, that no. You, you, you know, is, is... It's great fun. Yes, it was indeed. And it's, again, very, very detailed. You got all these sort of seemingly dignitaries at the centre. Oh, they were all running Help the Aged in England. Mm. Okay, so those are like the, the corporate executives um, of, of... That was Harold Sumption, I think. Oh, the man that you met on your travel after you lost your sec- second husband. That's right. That introduced you to the salvation. Okay. That's right. 
Right. You see, I'm glad I asked that question. Remarkable. And did you know any of these cyclists there? But you say maybe any of your grandchildren? Can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> but it's wonderful images. And of course, you've got the Indians in there as well. Okay, you know, there's yeah. a lot of um, all sorts mm -hmm. of. Yeah multifaceted image a lot going on there this looks like a kind of like a, a chapel what's that center well, it's piece in of? india i think it, it was in india okay yeah. was there any kind of okay mm. we'll, we'll we'll leave that on okay yeah. fine well there's a guy here with the ropes as well coming from, know, well, all from people the people raising money for charities for charities and it's amazing how you encapsulate all these different images over yeah. a different period That's of time right, yeah. and all in one picture yep Right. Remarkable. Now this is this is the Coram Children's Charity. Okay. That's my granddaughter. Oh right. Okay. She's my hairdresser. <laughs> That's your hairdresser there. <laughs> yeah. With arms stretched out. <laughs> That's right. Who's that? That boy looks unhappy under the arches to your left there. He was just. I don't know. I don't know which boy it was. Some okay. boy I knew. And any <coughs> any other person you, you recognize? <laughs> Well, I can't really see very the well. The Conran, oh, <laughs> bless you. Okay, so this was for the Conran, and obviously that's your grand. That looks like one regal, um, yeah. probably a politician or sort in, in that one there. These were, um, that was the, the, the Quorum. The Quorum family story. The Quorum Children's Charity. Okay. Mm, hence why there's lots of children in there that's as well. Right. Interesting. Okay, and again, it does look as though on the bottom left here, you've got some corporate executives. Oh there yes, well. yes. So Ooh, these are everybody, probably everybody workers and, yeah. and stuff for that. That's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. We move on to the next one. And what do we these have the here? the Salvation Army. Okay. Um, that's, that's the London Salvation Army, or England Salvation Army, and this is the International the Salvation International. Army. How do we? How, how could you tell the difference? It's obviously, you, you know what you're saying, but for, for those of us who didn't do it, because um, it looks... The, oh, no, they're not the same. Now I'm looking they're not the closer. Same. Yeah. So that's the UK Salvation Army and yeah, it's the international right. one. And it's got there, the heading on that page is with heart to God and, and hand to man. To man. It's their symbol. That's a symbol. It's, mm. it's, it's remarkable. And of course, Salvation Army, is, you've gone to so many Salvation Army. You yeah, went to right. Africa, you've been to Asia, that's you right. know, um, even the Caribbean in Haiti. I went everywhere. My they, goodness. They, took me all, they sent me all over the world. They said there's a million of us all over the world. I said, right, I'll go around the world for you. You organise it and I'll go and I'll pay for myself. And so they did. I'm so glad you said that. So it, it, all these journeys were self-funded. Well, because they certainly were. By yourself, out of your and, humanitarianism. Well, also a good way to, I don't know. Good way to meet. Interesting. Interesting people. Because uh, I remember when you went to Kenya, you know. That's uh, right. You've been for the Salvation Army. You saw so many children who yep. were... That's right. Homeless, helpless, some of them from a very young age, uh, lived in orphanages. That's right. And you attended a church service, you, you were given a skirt. Well, <laughs> An African right. upstairs. Actually. Oh, you got the African skirt upstairs. <laughs> you know, and, and you also said the, the Africans are such wonderful people. They were lovely. And when you did go there, you also said as well that, that you were so happy to have gone there because... You never felt intimidated. No, you, not you at were all. So happy. Never loved it. And such were the courtesy <coughs> that they shown. Okay, it's amazing where you've been for Salvation Army oh, no. and the Red Cross. And talking about Red Cross, we oh, have a is... picture there of the Red Cross lady. Oh yes, that's the next, the second Red Cross. Okay, and it's and that was in this country. I yeah. Imagine yes. This is the Mercy ships. Ah, this is the one. Um, I was on this ship for a week. Okay. We sailed around a bit of Africa, mm -hmm. and they they sail around Africa, and mm -hmm. every every they get to a new place, and they stop for three months, and they put up big notices, and everybody queues up to have have operations. <laughs> People with deformities, yeah, that's right. Cataracts. They do a wonderful job. And when you say they, who who, who are they? Because you, you have voluntary work. There were two, there were two um, 
what do you call it? Sojourns. No, mi- missionaries. 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 Who went to Africa. Uh-huh. And they were so shocked at the fact that all these poor people had terrible things wrong with them and they never got any help. Hmm. And they said, we ought to start something so they can have help. Okay. <coughs> and they said, somebody said, well, you ought to open a, ho- um, a hospital. A hospital. And they said, no, because if we do that, somebody will go in and loot the thing. Hmm. <laughs> but if we are on a ship mm-hmm. and we sail up, then, you know, everybody will be thrilled to pieces. And if they think there's any problems with the local politicians or anything, they can just sail away. Okay. You know? Okay. So they've been doing that for years now. So two missionaries <coughs> who, they have several ships here, about three of them. Well, they've started sh- three ships since Okay, then. Yeah. okay. So these were floating hospitals. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, they were in Liberia as well as in Sierra Leone. Well, they went everywhere. Okay. All around. Okay. They still do. They sail around the, around the coast of Africa. This is correct, yes. Because yeah. I was watching a documentary about this. Yeah. There's a guy who's in America. He was a DJ, music producer. That's X, right. And he then joined. He gave up his job. And he's, he's very actively involved That's right. in, in this process, process now. And even yeah. like digging wells for clean I know water. They do. They're amazing. For children to drink and etc. Yeah. etc. No, they were wonderful people. And we can see a long queue of, of people, of people queuing up for a needing op- needing operation. <laughs> Operations that the governments did not and could not. Well, well they not can't. that they, they couldn't, but they just didn't. They just didn't know help, how to help mm-hmm. the indigenous mm-hmm. way. Yeah. And hey, you had two Americans. You said two missionaries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and and obviously the two missionaries mm-hmm. then got married themselves. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> interesting. And with that, I would imagine you'd have, as I've read, as I said as well, you'd have uh, several other volunteers from from around the the oh everybody the country all sorts of people have volunteered to, 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 yeah. yeah. And your experience when you went there, you if I remember correctly, you you witnessed an operation. Yes, I did. Somebody they, they, they had their foot. Ch- yeah, and then another lady had their eye removed. Was well, she going away? Oh, that's right. She had her eye removed. And eye removed, and I was quite, you know, kiss me. I have a weak stomach, and you witnessed an operation, ma'am. On yeah, that's right. <laughs> Did you not feel wheezy or anything? You didn't feel, you know. No, you, I was just fascinated, and so was the surgeon, and so was the lady. Anyway, after she'd had her operation, yeah. she sat up, thanked everybody profusely, and went home. <laughs> <laughs> And and uh, the, the the surgeon who operated on that lady did say that they had to remove the eye because it was so badly yes, infected. Right. Yes, it, was. it was beyond you yeah. know um, any remedy of sort. That's right. And and you you didn't. F- you, you, sorry, see, I'm even started for world. Like you actually witnessed an eye being removed from the socket. Yes, but it didn't. And and such was the precision you stated in your biography as well that it reminded you of art where you had to be so precise. Yes, because it was one false yeah. move, yeah. and it could be right. really disaster. Okay, as we now move on to the next one. Here you go. What's that one? This is the international, the Resource Alliance. Okay, Tell and they're us all over the world. I see. Is this the one in Holland? You went to one in Holland? or this Yes, is a I, different... I think I, I met people from all over this place. <laughs> and and some of these people you've met personally and then they posed for you? Or... Yeah, well, Harold Sumption's in this, I think. Okay. I don't know which was, I can't see about it. Yeah. And, and, and there's another ship in this little... That's another ship which goes around. You see. Okay. In a different... They go all over the world. I'm with you. So it wasn't just the ships that you seen went just the mercy ships no, of no, Africa. Different places. There were several others as well. Yeah, Doing right. the same kind of thing? Exactly floating, the same. Yeah. Floating mm. hospitals. So these are charity paintings. This is Booth House. Ah, for the homeless. Yeah. Again, all your... Do you know what I've noticed with your artwork? That you always have this illumination, there's the light. There's oh, a I light, know, eye the light on the top middle. of the cross there. Yes, it gives people hope. Yeah, as you do have here <laughs> as well, centric to this image. Yeah. Is this about the Spanish Civil War? This one? Yes, this before is. Before you turn mm, it. That's right. 
You've got to be up music notation going on there. Yeah. Anything, right. any recollection about those? <laughs> I mean, they gave me some music and I did it. Okay. That's very vivid images. He was my tenant upstairs. Oh, really? <laughs> he's not now, he's moved. Yeah. <clears throat> and he's the greengrocer. <laughs> the greengrocer, your local greengrocer. Yeah, Interesting. He he's he's was. moved now. He's, they both were, okay. He's moved to Australia. It's interesting how on the bottom <laughs> left there, yeah. like you see all the jets dropping the, you know, know. the bombs and everything, shelling, mm. which I was yeah. in the Spanish Civil War, and the mystery is written all over the, that's you know, right. the, yeah, that's right. the war victims. The Spanish Civil War. War is never a good thing. This is Bernardo's. Okay, the ch children charity, okay. Yep. And he says Bernardo's believe in children. Yep, that's right. And the guild messengers through the years, he says, through the years, new painting unveiled in Bernardo's church. Amazing. And yours is one of those, which is there on your right hand side there. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same one, yeah. I think. Just the printing, publishing of it. Mm. Okay. Um, this for women in politics. Ah, okay. Interesting. This is very good for now, isn't it? Because we, we've had, in recent years, we have Theresa May. I know. And we also have <coughs> Miss Truss. <coughs> yeah. Um, who, well, yes, was, very briefly, um, the Prime Minister of Great Britain. So it's very good, very, not only was it relevant in, when you paint today, mm. it also is equally, one might even say even more important, mm -hmm. of more significance today about equality. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It's remarkable. This one's very, very interesting, isn't it? What's this one here? This is um, War and Peace. Interesting. This, this, the illustrations. Is, it's, um, it's this I actually did in memory of my dad. That's my dad. I was going to say, looking at that on the left there. That's my dad. Hmm. And he was in the. He was killed in the tanks. In the, the Burmese War. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. Though I saw an image of those <coughs> tanks. They're really special, okay. you know, to to have operated on those. Hence, why you've got the bomb, the, ex, the explosive know, yes, dropping on right, the yeah. tanks there. Thanks for emphasising on those and explaining to us. And is his name there somewhere? Um, battles know. of Britain, yeah. Probably okay. is, yes. Yeah. You've always said, Can't yes. Remember. And is that palace building structure behind your dad? Was that any, like, palace or something? No, that's a, a, it's just... um, a cemetery. Oh, I see. A war cemetery. The war cemetery, I see. Quite I've got the dolls representing peace. That's why you said yes, war right. and yeah. peace. peace. Contrasting, my mm -hmm. goodness. And yet so vivid. And this is the second Red Cross painting I did. Okay. They asked me to do another one and I did it. They like the, yeah, because one was in 2003, the second yeah, this in 2008. Is, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> it's remarkable. So vivid. This is the member of British Empire. This was the um, taxi driver thing, ah. which was unveiled by Vera Lynn, Joanna Lumley, and me. And and yourself, yes. Tell us a bit more about this, ma'am. I don't know. Okay, I think you did say, <laughs> if I remember, it was a taxi driver that took you from Heathrow. Yes, that's right. When you arrived, I was telling him about something or other. Yeah. And he said. Could you do a painting for us? He came back a couple of days later uh -huh. and said, I've had a discussion with my friends and uh -huh. we wondered whether you could do a painting for us. Uh -huh. So I said, yeah, okay, certainly. And then years later, and you, you place this. I can also see, I'm sure if it's, yeah, I think this is, because I saw the larger one. Oh yeah, that's it. That's how I just see the queen. Yeah, she's yeah. there, I know. Yeah, and shaking hands with war veterans that's right it's very interesting because you know she was the queen mum then i think she was 
Or was that the Queen Mother shaking the world veterans? Was, I okay, I, I can't look remember. so close because the image is so. This is the beauty of when you see them in real life, you can then well, truly, I think you it know. Was the Queen Mother, I may have I been see. the Queen, I don't I know. I see. Okay, but a, a monarch anyway shaking <laughs> hands with the yeah, war right. veterans. Yeah. And it's a remarkable image as well you know, of all these servicemen yeah. who've diligently served their nation. So absolutely remarkable. Again, it's so meticulous as anyone with your masterly argument would be. The details herein, it's really oh, yes, vast. Oh, yes, had to do it properly. In <laughs> I agree, well, yeah. This is why you're the master of this art, you know. You studied with the old masters That's and you right, took yeah. up their hallmarks and it's yeah, all it emblazoned yeah. for all to see. I like that word. It's, you have to do it properly. Of course, yes, of course you do. <laughs> There's no point doing it if you're not going to do it properly, yeah, no? I agree with you. Oh, I, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's so good to hear from the master of hearts. You know, it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Now you have the RNIB, Royal National yeah. Institute of the Blind. Yeah, this is my granddaughter. Oh, is it again? Pretending to be blind. Bless her. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her indeed. Is she an actress? Because all of She's the, an all actress. The, ah, you see, and I didn't even know that because I could tell the 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 images she portrays. Oh, yeah. There's that. Thing about you know she's brilliant. her portrayal of I what know. she's doing mm -hmm. interesting it's so cool to see and of course <laughs> it in centric <coughs> central to your image the light again yeah it's interesting about the light because you did struggle when you were students with the light when you met dr ruman that's right and now something you did struggle with at the earlier part <laughs> because the the Camberwell College of Arts were teaching the the impressionist style of painting, right. yeah. and you don't always wanted to learn the old master's way. Oh yeah, I know. And when you met Dr. Ruman, you told him about the lights, and he did explain it would come to you, and how because this is so central to all your masterpieces. Yes, it is. And yet it was something you struggled with. Now it becomes the the emblem, if you like. The hmm. number one pivotal factor in all your that is quite a story ma'am i like that hmm. i really like that in you highlighting what you were once well, you need with. to paint hope hmm. optimism and you hope and optimism and if you put the sunrise in the middle mm -hmm. that gives that feeling of hope because when the sun shines interesting and what we got here this is the we have um Sunny. The Rotary International. Ah, the Rotary. <coughs> okay. Do you know what I've noticed about all your paintings? They, they encapsulate people from all walks of life. Oh, I know they do. Asians, a lot Africans, of them are locals. European. A lot of them are locals. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of them are locals. Interesting. Ah, what have we got here? Men at work, by the look of this. So the colour of the painting is. He's not bright, bright red. <laughs> oh, I see. It's the color, the color of the actual production. Oh, so I it's see. It's not the painting, but oh. the but the painting is right. Okay, they seem to be busy working. Yeah, Some the Salvation Army, I think. I see. Yeah. Okay, is that a Bible in his hand? It looks like a navy officer, but it seems to have like yes, a scripture. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay. The Salvation Army. Ah. Hence why the Bible's in the hand, yeah. okay. There's some more of them here. That's right on the left there. Interesting. Again, you've got children, you've got adults, you've got workmen, servicemen, all sorts. The Very... Salvation Army, when it started, uh -huh. felt that they ought to help people learn how to do things. Okay. They were, t they were dealing with the completely unemployed who couldn't do anything. And they, they had a thing where they used to teach some, some, some of the gardening. Okay. And they have a thing. And so okay, I, okay, thank you. We appreciate this emphasis. <laughs> and you have here the NSPCC. NSPCC, and it says cruelty to children That's must right. stop. Full stop. That's one of my grandchildren, and the other white grandchildren. Okay. And that's the grandson. <laughs> okay. And who's this? Like a Jesus kind of image? He's or Benjamin, Benjamin. or oh, the Reverend? That's yeah, the Reverend he's Benjamin. The chap who Why? Okay. Interesting. And children helpline on the That's phone. That's right, there, yeah. With the phone number. 
So it's very interesting. These charities are still going. Yeah, yeah, and you've got those who are collecting, you know, That's right. for charity know. funding. Like, it's very detailed. And happy children, you know. I know. This is interesting that you've painted. There's a contrasting thing in this one where the children are happy. Yeah. Because the, the primary objective of this charity is to make children yeah. happy. And this one is miserable, you see. Yes, I, I was going to say, apart from yeah, miserable. Your, your granddaughter. Yeah. So there's quite a, a gradation from being miserable to being well, happy. Well, this is the point. This is where I do it. Interesting. And this page here. No, you see these arches there? Yeah. They look a bit like those, but I don't think it's the same page. It's the same painting. No, they're not the, from they're the, not same, the same painting, painting. painting. but okay. they're got from actually looking at wonderful mosaics in Italy. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. And I've tended to use them ever since. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so oh, I see. So hence the, the, why they, they, they have these in common. Yeah. Interesting. And now you've got the, the holy book there with the light. And this is the Bible Society. The Bible right? Society. Mm. Right. Interesting. Yes, this is now looking, I've mentioned it, yes, it's, you can see lots of scriptural mm. textbooks That's and, right. you know, for moral ethics. Okay, fantastic. Your work is so vast, my goodness, and varied. and but quite all, a lot of it. Yes, it's, it is. Ah, here's the one we got on the left here. Yeah, that's right. This is the... But before that, I think we should talk about... Yeah. That's my son, my grandson, my mm -hmm. daughter-in-law. My mm -hmm. grandson. <laughs> More family being in. Such happy images. Mm. People wear such big green and, you know, joyous know. and yeah. happy. So why you say you like to paint hope? I like to paint hope and happiness and beauty. Mm. That one you've seen. Whereas you couldn't do this with the impressionist style of painting that no, you were taught at Canberra College of Arts. No, could you have done that at the Slade style of painting? No, it's the same. They had the same teachers. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know, ma'am, if we could just, just, just a thought from my mind. Why would renowned institutions as those aforementioned, the Slades and Campbell College of Arts, embark on impressionist style of painting that you can't really get a feeling? There's no deduction of feeling or emotion. This image don't convey happiness or... I think it's a question of the art dealers. Ah. And they want things to be fashionable. Okay. And... For a time, it became fashionable to paint abstract. Okay. And so it's... You know what I mean? Because... Different ways of saying this is fashionable and mm, then selling paintings. So it's an in-vogue thing. But that's killing the artistry <laughs> and the... Yeah, but it doesn't last long. Each fashion lasts about five years and then they move on. This is so true. This is so true, what you've said there. Because looking at these, these masterpieces last hundreds of years. I know, These they ones will. you've done here. Yeah, they will. I, I, I'm still baffled as to why an institution would not encourage yeah. these that last generations upon generations and encourage younger artists. Because to they em only take the young, the, the big abstract art, mm -hmm. it only takes a fortnight to paint. <laughs> ah, time elements. You can employ somebody for three months to paint something so, that nobody could be bothered to look at. <laughs> it's amazing. But actually now what's happened, what I've found is that I've, I mean, I had ten one-man shows to start with and everybody wanted them. Absolutely, because I'm glad they you... wanted things you could see what they were. I'm glad you mentioned that because an American art dealer followed you and he was ever so persistent on you painting, That's right. you know... He for... said, how many can, of these paintings can you do in a year? Mm -hmm. um, we can pay for you for thir what? It was 30, I think. I don't know. Yeah, 30, tens of them, she just said tens. I thought this was nonsense. Yeah, he was not interested, even way back then, ma'am. No, he was interested in the money. 
he was interested in the money. But mm. yeah, he, he would have paid you for those at work. But oh, you, yes, he would have done, but, but that isn't but, the point. Yeah, but you were not interested in getting paid for, no. for your work. Well, I was interested in when I was younger and a bit poor. Yes, mm. I'd liked some money. <laughs> well, I sold, no, I sold 400 paintings when I was young. Okay, when you was much, okay. Um, but I sold them for prices that I knew people could afford. Oh, I see. So more like a charitable gesture behind yeah. the, the sales of those. Yeah, that's right. This is why that's not been well documented because the ones I've been reading laid more emphasis on the hundreds that you'd painted and given away. Yeah, well, after after I'd, after my late husband left me a fully indexed local government pension mm -hmm. um, and I didn't need the money anymore, my mother left this house. I didn't need the money. And it was I paint what I feel. And it was from then on that you just began giving them away to charity. Yes, that's right. And of course, the charity can then do as they please with it, whether oh, to know. raise money. Well, they leave them. I mean, yes. they use them for men's publicity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. But I'm still taking aback that someone offered you money for your artwork way back then. You objected. You, you was not interested. No, you was I'm rather not interested. No, disgruntled no. about him being so adamant. And he came all the way from America. Yes, he did. He came to see me in America. When I had an exhibition, he came to the exhibition. Mm -hmm. All the way from... Lord to approach me. He didn't, you didn't think, gosh, he's come an, a long way to see you, no. especially. He thought there was money in it. <laughs> <laughs> there's still a, there's still money in it and you just wasn't interested in monetary gain no. this is remarkable and these are some of the reasons why i say you know because uh, a preacher once stated you know um, that wealth is not a measure of the money you have but a measure of the things you can live without well, you know that's probably true this is but i mean if you have enough to eat Mm. You're living in quite a nice house in Highgate, mm -hmm. which my mother bought. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's interesting. And so many of these have gone all around the world. I can't remember where this painting was going. No, I, I've never seen it neither in any of your collection. Uh, there's a tiny, Jonah, Jonah there's a in tiny the print in it. And it's a remarkable painting. Well, like, this chap. Yeah. Was actually a window cleaner locally. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. And he came to me, he uh -huh. looked at what I was doing, and he said, Can you paint a portrait of my two daughters? Because I only see them once a fortnight because we've divided, you know, we've separated. Mm -hmm. And I said, Yes, I can do it. And he said, Can I do anything to help you? So I said, Yeah, you can pose for Jonah. <laughs> So he stood outside the thing doing that outside down down the uh, garden and I did drawings of him. Interesting. And I he posed to me just, just to do that. And I gave him a portrait of his da daughters. Remarkable. Yeah. And this is another beauty, <laughs> ma'am, how you <coughs> have this imagery totally in a totally contrasting environment yeah. mm. and then you insert it insert my note you That's paint right. it yeah. and blend it into your well, own well you see originally he said to me how, how much would you charge if i painted hey. your daughter my daughters <laughs> so i wouldn't charge anything but if you can pose for jonah it's a bit free <laughs> amazing <laughs> so I did. such a lovely story thanks for sharing that with us well it was and rather good paint it posing. really is Right. This is the Samaritans. The Samaritans. Again, I love what is always centric yeah. to your image, the, the sun. sun. You're feeling of hope, you see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The sunshine. The ray of hope. We'll try. Ray of sunshine. This and is of the course, Connection Charity. I was asked to do that. <laughs> this is really remarkable. There's a lot of desolation with homelessness under the bridge, and then people walking to That's right. to solve the problems, yeah. the elation of, and again hope is centered to all of this. I know it is. From desolation mm. to optimism right, yeah. and hope and betterment of of lives, it's just remarkable. Your 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 masterpieces they tell stories, don't they? 
and it's that's what I like. Mm. I like to tell stories. Mm-hmm. And and come on to your stories. I always hope. I know they are. Hmm. This is the Iranian liberation. If, if I may ask, is there anything through your lifetime that has led you to lay such repeated, continu- it's, it's not even continual, it's continuous emphasis on hope, ma'am? Well, I think it's just being alive. <laughs> mm. I think we're lucky. <laughs> Interesting. People who've just got lots and lots of money don't seem to be very happy. Because hmm. <laughs> they're always convinced that everybody else is after their money. Interesting. So people who so don't... So if you've got enough to eat, mm-hmm. and you're warm, mm-hmm. my mother used to say this, mm-hmm. provided you're warm and you have enough to eat, mm-hmm. you no need to have tons and tons of money. It doesn't make you happy. Hmm. Just be content with what you have. And do something which is more kind and interesting. Thank you. I love words like this, ma'am. Because you've just complimented what you preceded the statement with. Mm. You know? Yes, it's good to have enough. Be content with what you have. But mm. do something Do something as which well. is much helping people. Yes. Helping people is lovely. Hmm. I need it's to getting, clap for that It's getting well. money out of them. It's awful. I've got to clap for that. Helping people is lovely, ma'am, you say? Yeah. So Looking you, after people. So you derive joy by being instrumental in people's joy? Yes. Wow. It it makes your day to make people yeah. happy. This was the greengrocer. Sorry, you... <laughs> this yeah. is Jesus. Mm-hmm. He's the greengrocer. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. My granddaughter went to the greengrocer mm-hmm. and she was standing in a queue and she suddenly said, You're Jesus! <laughs> and he said, he said he just felt such an idiot and the whole, all the queue people were, oh, blimey! <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> Terribly funny. And the robe, I mean, the apple, what he's wearing as well, is very Roman. Um, well, he lent, he gave it to me. Okay. <laughs> He came from a family who were rather religious. I see, as well. And he wasn't religious, actually. He just liked caring for people. There you go. Well, we've got from there. Okay, yes. So, okay. So, this one looks like stages of development. In it's the one. same same series. Okay. Like when my late husband died. Mm-hmm. Meeting Harold in, in heaven. Yeah. Okay. But here's... That's Richard Branson. Oh, really? Yeah. Your second cousin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's Sir Richard Branson, you know, in heaven, you know, <laughs> the Virgin CEO, Virgin Atlantic, Virgin all sorts. Virgin... I, was talking, I was talking to him over the phone. Okay. And I said, I'm going to do a portrait of the Bransons. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, can I be in it? So I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> so he said, I'll send you a photograph of myself. Okay. So he sent a photograph of himself. Well, I put wings on him and things which he hasn't got. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, we, we'll but talk... We, we, <coughs> we, we were fascinated talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really realise he was a relation until my uncle, mm-hmm. he'd been up in Scotland and he'd met this chap another brand you know anyway he suddenly realized we were all related so for all those years you didn't know you and sir richard branson were related and then he, i his sister got very annoyed and said i was after his money so i stopped talking to him over the phone oh well i i don't know what to say about that i think she fra- was very jealous of anybody who got friendly with him because she felt that people were after his money well actually she was keen on his money hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So sometimes people suspect others of what they themselves are. What they are. themselves think, yeah. Interesting. But but just as as a pacifist, <coughs> I would love if you could still carry on talking with Sir Richard, irrespective of what the sister Not really, thinks. Not really, no, no. There's plenty of other people to talk to. 
people like you. Wow, <laughs> amazing, man. Thanks ever so much. People like us, you know, even though we will still love you to talk with Sir Richard. That just really paints the clearest and truest picture of Miss Rosa Branson. It's never about money with you. No, it it's, isn't. It's never about wealth. It's just about humanity. That is. I think it is. Wow. He, he was nasty to me. Oh, really? No, he was nasty to my daughter. I see. And he's good. And my daughter was very upset and was crying. Wow. So I dealt with him. Hmm. It's Artistically. Goodbye, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a pit of hell. I know. I thought that sorted him out. I and when see. my daughter saw it, she roared at laughter and said, can I put it over the internet? I said, no, it's not done. To put it <laughs> oh, so you didn't allow her to put it on the internet? No, certainly not. Wow, such reservation. But would They're not done to cause damage. Hmm. He was a leading art critic for Sotheby's. I see. <laughs> but he was I very see. bitchy to her. I told her she was stupid. I see. Thanks for that. I love the emphasis that you use to conclude your statements because despite him being unkind to your daughter, yeah. you still didn't want to publicise no. the negative image. Not at all. It, it's just amazing. If somebody's nasty, mm -hmm. you don't make it worse by being nasty to them so, back. Interesting, Then you have a war. Interesting, ma'am. I've love... always used art as a way of getting what I feel there. Remarkable. So you, you negate, you, you make positive the negative energy. Yes, you do. From a negative source of emotion, being yeah. sad and lonely, you then came up to use art to, to appease yourself. You use it. You use it if you're really in love. If you're really in love, you paint fruit if you're a woman. And if you're a man, you paint ladies. <laughs> hmm. um, then when somebody you love dies, you paint everybody going to heaven. Hmm. Okay. If nothing particularly is happening, you're just doing lots of still lives. Hmm. And portraits and that, keeping in practice. It's so interesting. But you use it as a as a way of getting the feeling you have in your head hmm. out. Wow. Thank you so much, ma'am. God bless you, Miss Rosa yeah. Branson. Thank anyway, you. Lovely to meet we you. We truly appreciate it.